What's up guys? So I have been slacking on the videos and I apologize for that. Um, started putting out some great stuff and then life kind of got in the way. The last month and a half, gone out of town probably like four times for either drill, had like a little anniversary thing, just kind of life happened, you know. So also had a little shoulder injury I'm kind of working on fixing. So still got to baby it a little bit, but I'll be putting out some more stuff. I want to start out with some tips for Anybody who's thinking about competing for their first time. So it is coming around that time of the year where competition season starts. Everybody starts cutting weight for summer, whatever it is. And how to, you know, some people ask me here and there for advice or ask me questions on things. And one of the guys in the gym was actually, he was like, hey, do you have any just tips for first time competitors? And I was like, oh, that's a actually really good idea. And at the time in my mind, a few things came to my mind immediately. And then I started thinking about it. So figured I'd make something for you guys and hopefully you guys get something out of it. So first off, um, it kind of depends on the mindset. Uh, if you're somebody who's going into it, like maybe you've lost a ton of weight or maybe you have some kind of um, illness or anything like that that you're overcoming and you're kind of just doing it as like a for fun thing, a transformation kind of thing. One, of course, get in pretty good shape and enjoy the day, you know, enjoy it. That's what you're there for now. If you're somebody who's, and you can still use the tips I'm about to say, but your goals may be a little bit different. If you're somebody who's going into it where, yeah, things happen, you never know who's going to show up, but you're trying to go in there to win. That's your mindset. You know, you want to be competitive. You want to do really well. Some of the things I would go with is, for one, let's start from a good place. So make sure that your off season was productive. Um, or this progress time that you've had so far, you haven't probably had like an off season, on season, but make sure this time leading up to the show has been productive and make sure you're in a good spot. Make sure you're able to eat a decent amount of calories and maintain the weight that you're at. Meanwhile, your energy expenditure isn't ridiculously high. You know, you don't want to start in a spot where you're eating 1500 calories, doing an hour and a half of cardio, and you're probably like 20, 25% body fat. That's not a good place to start. Uh, at that point, you'd want to slowly try and increase your metabolism, try and decrease that energy expenditure. So make sure you're in a good spot. You're eating a good amount of food without tons and tons of energy expenditure to maintain that weight. And you have enough time. Make sure you have a lot of times people will do their first show and they want to start 12 weeks out. You know, give yourself at least, I would say, 16 weeks. I would say preferably 20, 24 weeks. Because you don't know the rate at which your body is going to progress to the stage um, shape. You also don't know what kind of hiccups, what kind of plateaus, how long those plateaus are going to be, what it takes for those plateaus to be broken. And also make sure you're in a good position mentally. Make sure you're somewhere where this is what you want. Of course, there's going to be days where you're like, why am I even doing this? This sucks and you want to give up. But make sure from the beginning, it's not something where you're like, you start cardio for 20 minutes and you're like, God, this sucks. I hate this. Make sure you're not coming from that position. Otherwise, the whole time it's just going to get worse and worse and you're going to want to quit easier. You're going to want to binge easier and give up. Two, um, with that, expect to suffer. So expect for the prep to be hard. Expect things you've never I felt. Get that. <laughs> Shut up, Siri. <laughs> expect to... Feel hunger that you've never experienced before. Expect to be tired. Expect for your energy to be lower. So going into it with that mindset, knowing that those things are most likely going to occur, you can be ready for it. And you can also let those cl people close to you know too. You know, you may need to let your girlfriend know like, hey, these, those last few weeks, I may not be 100% there. I still love you when the show is over. I'm giving you all my attention after that, you know, for a given period of time or whatever. Um, or you may let your family know like, hey, for this time period, I can go to family dinners, but I do have to bring my meals. Like it just is what it is. So it's being ready for yourself mentally, as well as letting those around you be ready as well, as best as they can. It's a new process. It's going to be hard for people to understand. So three, don't be afraid of being flat. Most people start to get a little flat and they see themselves. And yeah, it sucks because especially even in the beginning, because you're losing that intracellular carbohydrates, that glycogen, but you're not losing the body fat yet. And you look worse kind of before you look better. I always tell clients I'm working with like, hey, these first couple of weeks, we may look a little worse. 
So it's hard mentally and most people start to get to that and they're like, oh, I need a refeed and they refeed and of course they look a little bit better because they're filled out, but you're not making the progress towards that competition conditioning nearly as fast as you need to if you're making it at all. Um, and as you get leaner and leaner, you may think like, oh, I need a refeed, you know, because you have a little bit and then you fill back up. And those things are great and there's time and place for that, but don't be afraid of being flat is all I'm saying. So, uh, number four, don't mix and match approaches. So don't be, if you have a coach or whatever, or if you're dieting yourself, don't be using one guy's, you can mix and match. Yeah. Maybe like one guy's training approach and one guy's uh, nutritional approach or something like that. But if you're dieting with one person's approach, let's say you have a coach and they're telling you to do these things and then you go to the gym and your buddy, the big dude from the gym, whatever, tells you to do something else. Don't be mix and matching those because that coach or the approach you're taking may have a reason how all these things work together. So if you're throwing things off and mix matching things, then that approach may not work at least. So if I, if I know somebody, even if they come up to me, you know, in the gym and I know they're in a prep and they have a coach, they may be doing something that I don't necessarily agree with. And if, unless it's a detriment to their health, then I'll just tell them, you know what, dude, kind of just stick to your coach for now. I can give you my two cents, but just stay with what your coach says. Towards the end of a prep, I may not even give them my two cents because it'll just mess with their head. But your coach may be doing something for a specific reason. Now, if by the end of this prep or the end of you working with them, at least now you know, hey, this did or didn't work out with me. Maybe you go somewhere else um, or you try a different approach. But follow through with it. Follow through with that one approach. Number five, have a second pair of eyes you trust, especially if you're dieting yourself. So if you have a coach, they should be those pair of eyes. Now, if you're dieting yourself, have a few people in the gym who you know who have competed, who you may be friendly with, or people even online, you know, maybe you're part of a message board or a group or something like that where you can post your pictures constantly. And maybe there's some people there who have experience who can give you some advice. I would probably say, talk to a few of the guys in the gym who you know who have competed. Most of us are pretty friendly. Um, not saying I'm a professional or anything, but I'm a decent pair, a decent second pair of eyes. So make friends with them, even at the start of your prep, just be like, hey man, I'm kind of prepping. I was wondering if maybe you could take a look at me every couple of weeks or something. Just five, 10 minutes, five minutes, you know? Um, of course, you're gonna have to work around their schedule a little bit. If they tell you like, yeah, I'm in here Saturday, I'm done at the gym at this time. and meet me in and you can come in and, you know, maybe we just go down to your posing trunks in the mirror and we'll take a look at you. Five minutes. That's all it may take. And if somebody came up to me in the gym and told me that, I'd be like, sure, man, no problem. Like, hey, maybe these two or three days and then come in, we'll take a look at you. And you just want somebody who can give you unbiased, honest feedback. You know, when you're prepping yourself, you start to go... Well, everybody, but especially if you're prepping yourself because you don't have a coach to be those second pair of eyes, you start to see yourself differently. You know, you may look great and shredded and you don't see that. You may think you're, all you see is those negatives. You may think you're flat and soft and you're not ready when you are, or you may think you're, you see it all the time in the gym. You see these guys who think they're shredded or even on stage, you see these guys who think they're ready when it's like, uh, you're probably eight or 12 weeks out still, bud, you know, so have a few people who you can trust, even if it's one or two people, I would say one or two people who really know, who have really competed, been through it, and can help you, where they can tell you, yeah, you're a little flat, man, but you look good, okay, you know, or like, no, you're right on track, or maybe you're a few weeks behind, I think, or you may even be a few weeks ahead, or um, if you've been flat, it's normal to be flat, like I said, but if you've been extremely flat for a long time, they may be like, okay, dude, I think my opinion, you might need a little bit of carbs, you know, a refeed, not necessarily a cheat meal, but a refeed. So you don't go too flat to where it becomes a hard place to come back from. So just have a second pair of eyes, a couple of them, maybe whatever that may be. Um, six, when you think you're shredded, if you're judging yourself, whenever you think you're shredded, drop another five to 10 pounds, especially for your first show. For someone who's more experienced, they may kind of know, but for the first time, you think you're lean enough. You know, you may have your six pack in and you look great for the beach, but you're not stage conditioned. 
So whenever you think you're shredded, drop another five or 10 pounds. Number seven, nail your mandatories. So whatever division you're doing, um, nail those mandatory poses, your front relax, side relax. If you're doing bodybuilding or classic, nail your mandatory poses. Now, if you have time, cool, you can throw in some more fun shots, but for your first show, work on getting those mandatories down. Like they should be 100% spot on. For, you should be hitting them the way that complements your physique. You should be able to hit them just without even thinking about it. It should just be second nature. Um, all those other fun shots can come later. Like I said, if you have the time, do it great, but build your base. So get your mandatories down. And even for your posing routine, if you just hit mandatories, but you nail them, that is awesome for your first show. Most people don't go into their first show with great posing. So if you can go into it, nailing those mandatories, that's, that's a phenomenal thing to me. So nail your mandatories, focus on that. Execute the basics. And last but not least, I may come up with some more later. Don't go crazy on peak week. Don't do anything nuts. Don't change a ton of variables. Don't be, you know, refeeding on burgers and pizza the last couple of days or IHOP, you know, like you see everybody doing. Keep it pretty stable. Just be ready two weeks out. You should look darn near stage condition, if not stage condition, two weeks out and just be able to ride it into the show. You know, especially your first time, try and be ready early. And then that last week, you know, a week out, eight days out, six days out, whatever, drop your carbs a little bit, maybe 50% or so, and then load up a little bit, however you want to do it, a back load, front load, rapid back load, whatever you do, and carb up a little bit, you know, nothing crazy. If you're depleting on, if you've been prepping the last several weeks on 150 or so grams of carbs, maybe you're doing 225, 300, something like that. Don't go nuts. Don't go cutting water on Wednesday and depleting it down to anything and loading up sodium. Just be ready a couple weeks out, slight carb deplete, slight carb load, taper that protein a little bit towards the end. And maybe the day of, you're just sipping on water. Something simple. Um, that's kind of it, guys. So those are some of the things that I thought for now, I may come up with more later and I'm sure there is more. If you guys have any, let me know, um, comment if you have any advice that worked for you or that you wish you had known. All right.